Good morning, and welcome to Ascension Sunday. Our opening hymn is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us 
and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son, in exultation and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard him speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. When they gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky, as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. My eyes, may the eyes of your heart be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at the right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the ones to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The eleven had gone, as Jesus had told them to, to Galilee, to the Mount of Olives near Jerusalem. On seeing the risen Christ once more, they fell down before him as their master, and their God and worshipped him. Now they are much more conscious of what they had for some time believed in their hearts and confessed with their lips that their master was the true Messiah. 
They were delighted and full of joy at having the Lord and their God so near to them. After the 40 days spent in his company, they can be witnesses to what they have seen and heard, and the Holy Spirit would confirm in them the teachings of Jesus and would lead them to the complete truth. Jesus spoke to them as only God could. Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Jesus confirmed the faith of those who worshipped him and taught them that the power that they were to receive was a sharing in his own divine power. Jesus withdrew from their sight little by little. The apostles remained for a long time as Jesus ascended majestically until a cloud took him out of their sight. Jesus' life on earth finished not with his death on the cross, but his ascension into heaven. It is the last of the mysteries of his life here on earth. It is a redemptive mystery together with his passion, death, and resurrection that makes up the Paschal mystery of our faith. It was fitting that those who saw Christ die amid insults and scoffing and mockery on the cross would now see him exalted. They see fulfilled now the words Jesus had one day spoken to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. The ascension strengthens and nourishes our attempt at attaining heaven. It invites us always to lift up our heart the old preface of the Mass says, to seek the things that are above. Our hope as Christians is great because Christ himself has gone to prepare a dwelling place for us. Jesus is truly in heaven with his glorified body, with the signs of his redemptive sacrifice and the marks of his passion, marks which Thomas could see and touch marks that bring about our salvation. The sacred humanity of Christ has its natural place in heaven. But he who gave his life for us truly awaits us there. The angels told the apostles that it was now time for them to begin the task before them, that there was not a minute to be wasted. With the ascension, Christ's earthly mission comes to a close, and ours as disciples begins. Jesus wishes each one of us to remain in his or her place, sanctifying the world from within, improving it, and placing it at the feet of God. And then only will our world be closely linked to God, to Jesus, who has ascended into heaven. May God bless you. And together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God not made consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. With confidence in our risen Lord, we bring our prayers to God. 
Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders of the church, with love for the ascended Christ, may they carry out Jesus' commission to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have been displaced or lost jobs, may God grant them peace and discernment in making decisions for the future. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick, suffering, or dying, especially from the coronavirus, may God grant them peace and comfort. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that God may give them eternal peace, especially for Margaret Marinowski, Josephine Socorro, Thomas Petrillo, Gerald C. Murphy, Anna Hanstra, Christopher Minetti, Ella Rodriguez, Donato Di Benedetto. This Memorial Day weekend, let us remember our deceased veterans. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our God. prayer. God of love, hear our prayers that all might come to know your merciful love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this holy exchange, we too may rise to the heavenly realms, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens, where the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim.
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is Crown Him with Many Crowns. <laughs> Thank you. 